Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I hey, make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for 10 years now. Well, almost. We'll be by the time this video is posted. So my 10 year anniversary is actually on Sunday. It's currently Wednesday, so it's only a few more days away. Decade in business, which is pretty crazy to me. In this video, I'm gonna be getting ready for my launch. So I've had the website closed for almost a month now and I haven't done a whole lot of stuff behind the scenes done small bits here and there but yeah time has just gone away from me I did really want to redo the scrunchie wall because it's looking very empty and I wanted to have a lot more stuff done for the 10 years and the reopening but it's also just been really nice just to have a bit of a break I had like quite a few days off I reckon I've had like a week maybe even two weeks off scattered in between this week specifically is massive for me I did really want to try and make like over a thousand scrunchies that's not happening, so I'm going to postpone that. The 10 year anniversary, so I wanted to do certain vlogs uh, and videos for that, content stuff for that. I have like specific ones I wanted to film. I also wanted to try and make a dress for my birthday. I do also need a restock for the markets this weekend because I haven't done any restock. I'm really empty on like everything. I've sort of like got one day to do really everything. One day per thing. <laughs> So today's thing I'm going to be doing, and probably a bit of tomorrow, going to be doing the website. Land of Attack here, we're going to get the birthday, valentines, and school range up. Sort of got a few valentines ones that I wanted to put up. I've got some school colours I want to go up. I want to make those in scrunchies and the new bows, like the oversized bows. And then I have a birthday one from last year that I've ordered a little bit more of. I could only get like half a metre though. So I have ordered that, but it won't arrive until next week. So I'll just try and put it up as it is. It's the exact same thing as last year, so I'll just re-upload it because uh, I've already got the photos and everything and I know exactly how much is coming and it's the exact same, so I'll just upload that with it. So yeah, there won't really be much birthday print wise. And I've also decided, well, for now, I don't think I'm going to be doing the, you know, different postcard every month thing this year, the new drops. I probably might do maybe by bi-monthly or just do selective drops. We'll just see how it goes this year. Because I do want to try and get more YouTube content out, other bits and pieces, and I don't really want to have strict deadlines for that. Probably be fine, but I don't know. We'll just see what happens. So besides getting those up and like made, I also need to kind of do a stock take on the stuff that I have on the website and redo the website. So I just really just need to take down stuff that's old and I don't have much of, and change like how much quantity everything is just so it's a bit more updated and like I won't sell out of anything. I have printed off all these as well so I, each time I do a drop I make one of these little infographic things. So I printed off all these so I thought I'd go through my scrunchie wall and figure out what I've actually got in stock because I do have quite a few scrunchies still in that wall. I've got a lot missing as well. So we'll just see. And that way I can write down what I've got in stock, what I've got in stock in like here in Meteridge so I can update the Inventora and go from there, I suppose. If you don't know, I use Inventora to, so it's sort of like a stock tech thing. So I can put in how much material I have and it will tell me exactly how much I can make of like all my different size scrunchies. It will also update that website automatically when something sells. It's really, really good. So if someone buys like an Excel scrunchie, it will take it out and like then adjust everything else so then you know only certain things can sell so it's, it's really handy and it also uh integrates with both etsy and shopify and because i'm on both it has been hard to sort of divide them but yeah now they can be like combined and yeah whenever something sells out on shopify it sells out on etsy and vice versa i guess i'll show you sort of the ones i've selected to go up this month it won't be a lot because i am just really busy uh, with everything. These are the Valentine's Day prints. I really dropped them. I might even go to Spotlight and see if I can get some more heart stuff, but these are the heart ones I have left, which isn't many. So I got like ones like that, which I might just do hair bows in because that will only make four scrunchies. This one, big heart print. And then I've got like the candy ones. And then I've got like a wine color, like a burgundy. I was going to do these ones in XL size. So I'm pretty sure they're not on the website. This one might be, but I have to have a look. And then a couple floral prints, which aren't on the website yet, which this one has been on the website before, like years ago, 
That one is on for key fobs. This one has never been on there. This one, which is a beautiful satin color. It's different to the dusty pink one. And then I've also got a bunch of satin colors that I wanted to do in the bows and the scrunchies. Possibly bows. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll only choose like one or two for the bows like navy and like the burgundy ones. But yeah, so I got this one and there's a whole bunch in here. It's just like school colors. There's also a couple other colors in here, which I want to put up, which are new. There's also colors in here, which are, have been restocked, like this color, which is super popular. And this one, which is Cypress, which has been really popular online. This one, I'd love to, yeah, satin going everywhere. This one would be really cute as well. So yeah, there's like a whole bunch of different ones. So that's my thoughts for today. I think the first thing I'm going to do is work out what scrunchies I have in stock. So let's go have a look. So this is what I have left. There is still quite a few ranges that have quite a bit left. But I think to make it easier for me uh, for the markets on the weekend, I'm going to take out a lot of stuff from the scrunchie wall and work out, like just make sure everything's full. So then on Friday, when I do market restock, I don't have to make really scrunchies. I can make other things like the hair bows and stuff, which I know people are going to want to see and focus on other collections. So I might do that first and then I'll start counting. <laughs> How did I manage that? <laughs> it's never happened before. I've like sewn the label into, I guess, the creases, not the actual. Anyway.
pretty much all of these fabrics are like wonky. <laughs> I don't get it. Like have a look at this. So you can kind of tell that's where it would have been lined up. But then look on this side. Because obviously that is the straight because it's been ripped. So every time I've been trying to put them on, they've ended up like this. Like a massive gap because if I try and pull it, it's like that. Like this is where it's meant to sit. And like, yeah, and this is how it would have been sitting on the boards. You can tell where all the lines are. So I don't know what's going on here, but all of them have been like that so far. I even tried to like um, cut half, like a, only a meter, and it still did the same thing. Didn't matter how I tried to put it on. Uh, if I tried to put it on with the, yeah, the matching up, it was just wonky as, and it wouldn't go on the boards. So I don't know what's what's the go with this fabric. I have no idea. Some of them will work a lot worse than others though. But it's been driving me insane. <laughs> this is like the worst experience I've had with folding fabric. And I folded a lot of fabric. Alright, so these are the school colours I've chosen. Half of these are already up online though. And then these are the Valentine's Day prints. Some of these are up online. And it's also those two on top. So when I do like the collections, I'll just put them in. Although I might, I'm not sure whether to remove some of these yet. I'm not too sure. And then I was going to do these for the birthday one. Because we've got these two plus two sprinkle ones coming. I don't know, we'll see. So I've just finished cutting all the pieces. Some of them are for just the launch and then others are for the market as well. So I just thought I'd do it all in one. I do need to start like sewing all this, but I'm also like, this weather's crazy. <laughs> I feel like every time I do a video, the weather just decides to go crazy. Cause right now it's like so windy and cold outside and it's summer. Like, what is this? I haven't got many like new prints for the XLs. I've got, four they're mostly pink ones besides that one so i've sort of gone for yeah the valentine's day range but also the school range and i've chosen two different fabrics to do for the birthday stuff i'm sort of in two minds whether to just start sewing or to actually go through the wall and do the website and figure out you know what's gone like what's completely gone or what's like almost <laughs> you know so I don't know what to do. Start on that, I might as well just cut them as well. So I'm like, do I cut it all? I don't know. Alright, I think I'm going to sew all this first. I've also chosen a couple to do in different things. So like, these are with bows. I'm also going to do the dusty pink in that too. So I'm going to get that out. So now I wanted to do wine, navy, because that's like very popular around my area for school. Um... The birthday bow and I'm doing I'm just making some more white ones for the market uh, so I just pre-cut it I know may I'll just leave it at that for now for online and then I can add in extra ones it is a big statement piece and I don't think certain colors will sell very well so I'm just mindful of that and tomorrow's gonna be interesting I hope this weather's not like this for the weekend I just realized okay it says it's not even meant to be raining right now Like, it is very, very wet. 
All right, so this is meant to be 25 on the weekend, no rain. So let's hope that that stays.
So I've just got these, they are loop earplugs, I don't know if you have, you've probably seen them around, they are pretty popular online, I purchased these myself by the way, but I do have an affiliate link that I've just like signed up for, if you want to try it out yourselves, but I got them for not only sleep, because I find that my house just makes a lot of noise, so I've been wearing, um, yeah, ear protection to bed I guess, because it's just so much quieter. But also for the sewing machine, because even with my headphones, which I absolutely love and adore, 
I can still hear the sewing machine through it. I've been using these with this and they're super comfy and easy to put in and I can still hear this but I can't hear the sewing machine so it's a win-win for me. So if you wanted to try out some for yourself I'll add in the affiliate link below. You can get 15% off as well for your first purchase so that's a pretty good deal and it comes like with a little case and everything and also comes with all the different sizes to change. I'm using the extra small size at the moment. I have small ears <laughs> and I got purple which matches what I'm wearing right now so that's a win for me. So I just thought I'd share that one with you while I remember because I have had these for a little while and I completely forgot to like say anything about them so. <laughs>
Okay, so I've tried the iron. I don't think it's working very well. This is gonna, this is so much easier to use.
Alright, so I've just finished all of these scrunchies. Um, I put all the labels in, I just need to cut them apart. I'll do that tomorrow at the market. And then I've got heaps of minis on top because I need to make some more minis for the market. Uh, but yeah, these will just be for to, well, not tomorrow's market, the next day. So they need to still go in the car. Uh, I also made all the bows. So I've got all those sort of bows and these ones. I would bring them, but I haven't really taken any photos of them, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I'll just bring them to Glengarry when I've got everything ready for, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, it is, it's getting really late. It's like 11.30 already, and I still have to have a shower and everything, so I'm going to go to bed. Hopefully I've got everything ready for tomorrow as best as I can anyway. I know there's still like a heap of bows I really need to make. I could bring these. What have we got in here? Some minis, and if I get time, I get time because I've got like a whole bunch of like minis to do in here. Um, like thread them and make sure that they're ready to go just to be thrown through the sewing machine. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. At least I'll be able to get a heap of stuff done if it's not busy at all. I'm hoping it is because I haven't made any money for like a month now because <laughs> I've had a month off. And it's been really hard. <laughs> hey guys, I just got back from the market and back from the farm. Just went and grabbed a few things uh, that I needed for tomorrow. But I've got these done, the minis. I also cut the whole box of scrunchies as well. I cut all the threads off. And now I just need to sew in all the labels for the minis and sew them shut. So I think that's going to be my plan. Um, sew all these minis up smash these out and then get the light box out and try and take as many photos as I can especially like ones with all the collection together then I'm gonna hope that the dress that I'm currently washing right now fits and I'll be able to do like the photos I wanted to do I'm not sure if it'll work but we'll see and it also I guess depends on the lighting in here whether it's too dark or not I mean it's gonna be in the next vlog anyway but the dress that I wore, um, technically it is nine years ago, not ten, but I wore it nine years ago for one of my first ever markets, um, first proper market, and I want to wear that tomorrow, depending on how short it is. Um, at least I want to get some photos in it, and then like do like comparison shots of the photos, and I've got like all these real ideas for it too. So I don't know, so that'll be pretty cool. But yeah, so all these, take all the photos. Um, and then later on tonight, I want to make sure they're all edited and uploaded and then redo the website. That shouldn't take too long. I just really need to, um, change a few quantities and like remove some stuff that I know is out of stock, put the new, uh, big bows up and stuff. So, I mean, there's not too much to do, but then also there's a lot to do. And I somehow need to bake a cake as well before it gets too dark. But I mean, that's going to take like half an hour, if that. So we'll see how we go. I might sort these out. Wait, I need to do this first. One task at a time.
All right, these are all the new ones. They're thin, they're wide, by the way. Got petites, XLs, the bows. Oh, and I have to get these ones out. I use this light box to take all my photos just helps because uh, if it's not a good weather day or something I just have something that will take photos really nicely I also use my camera so I can't actually film really any of this because I'm doing this my goal is to take a photo of all these and then maybe like take a flat lay on maybe over here or something just before the sun goes down I've just finished taking photos of these. I'm going to take this to the market tomorrow. But that's pretty much it for this vlog. I'm going to do another vlog straight after this because I'm going to film tomorrow's market. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So And turn the bell notification on so you get a reminder when I do post the next one. Which yeah, will be my 10th birthday anniversary. And all the stuff I've done for that. It probably will be a short one but that's okay. I've got so much more to do tonight. I probably didn't really get as much done as I wanted to. It is what it is. Busy lady. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!